Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Thought I'd do my Christmas EDC haul video, show you some of the stuff I've gotten for Christmas this year. And I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. I know a few people that the Christmas is not very good this year. And I've been thinking about them all day. But yeah, hopefully everything went well for you. You got some cool stuff. You got some cool EDC gear, cool nice flashlights, wallets, watches, whatever you wanted. But yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. So thought I'd show them to you. Um, some things you've actually seen. I got these early a couple weeks ago. I done the unboxing videos on them. A couple of things are not really EDC related, but I'm going to show them. And to make this as short as possible, I'm basically going to show them to you. And that's it. I'm not going to go into any great detail on anything. Um, there'll be reviews coming out on most of this stuff. So keep an eye out for that stuff. But yeah, get down to it. One cool thing I got. Got this in the mail about a week ago. Christmas card. They're always nice to get. Don't get very many of them anymore. Um, we don't send them out. But I like it when I get one. And this one came. And it's from JB. From Big Red EDC. And I wasn't expecting this. Nice little note. A couple of his new stickers. And yeah, I mean, that was really nice. I was kind of surprised to get it. Made my day that day. But yeah, thanks JB for sending out cards to your channel members. I'm sure everybody else appreciated it as much as I did. And yeah, get down to the rest of this stuff. Uh, the first three things, not really EDC related. Um, my one daughter got these for me, along with a few other snacks. And you'll see in a minute. But one thing was in the bag was this DVD, The Pride of the Yankees. The old Gary Cooper movie. Um, I watched this when I was a kid. Loved this movie. I watched I've seen it several times. I haven't watched it in years, though. But, yeah, pretty awesome movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You don't have to be a Yankee fan, but it's the story of Lou Gehrig. And, actually, Babe Ruth actually played himself in the movie, so that's cool. But, yeah, I'm going to watch this sometime this weekend. Pride of the Yankees. I dig it. And... Along with that, she got me, like I said, some snacks. One thing was this barbecue sauce. And I'm trying to cover up some of the, you know, seller's information just because. But it's from Swigert's Sugar Shack. It's Big O's Maple Barbecue Sauce Extra Hot. Basic ingredients are maple syrup, ketchup, brown sugar, garlic powder, vinegar, cayenne pepper. Yeah, I can't wait to try this. I haven't taste tested it. I opened it up, smelled it. it. Smells excellent. But I don't know what I don't know what I'm making, but I'll figure something out, try it. And she got me this jar of Christmas jam. So this is jam and jelly, Christmas jam, four ounces. Ingredients, strawberry sugar, cranberries, pectin, made in a home kitchen. Yeah, it looks yummy. Can't wait to try this out. Probably Try it on some toast in the morning. Definitely cool stuff. Yeah, definitely going to watch the movie this weekend. But yeah, let's move on. You know, I got a pile of stuff here. Um, the knives, like I said, I got these early. i done unboxing videos. Um, reviews are coming up shortly. So, first one. Kind of a Christmas present to myself is the Civivi Cogent. I was waiting for this one to drop. I like the looks of this thing. And it's a button lock. Pretty cool. Great action. Love that blade style. Purple G10. Yeah, as soon as this thing dropped, I bought it like instantly. But yeah, I consider this a Christmas gift. Part of Christmas. You know I, I bought it myself. Awesome knife. Next up is no Civivi. 
These three were from my wife, even though I did pick them out. But this is a Civivi Riffle. And I was kind of on the fence about this when it first came out. But the more I saw on it, the more I looked at it, the more I, I decided to get it. And I'm glad I did. Awesome. Feels great in hand. Super, super slicey. Green micarta scales. Yeah. <clears throat> Another awesome knife by Civivi. Should have got it when it first came out. Um, these two are Kaisers. This is the Kaiser Mini Dolman. Right there. N690 steel. These two Kaisers have been on my, my wish list forever. I've wanted them. Um, not necessarily these colors, but I like them. When I saw these colors, that's kind of what made me finally pull the trigger. Love this black blade. The black and white G10. Action on this thing's excellent. I mean, rockets out. Just drops shut. Nice sound. But yeah, the Kaiser Dolman Mini. And this one is the Mini Bag Lighter. Warm Cliff Blade, which I thought was just, I love, I love the style of this knife. Love the blade. The handle's cool. And when I got it, it's like, I was kind of disappointed because it is a lot smaller than I thought. So I was kind of underwhelmed about it. But then I finally, finally carried it and used it. And I got to say, I, I really dig this knife. Um, it's definitely going to be on, in my top five, <coughs> excuse me, top five most carry nice for the month. Um, even though, as you can see, it is small. It's basically for me, three finger grip, but it's pretty awesome. After I carried it and used it, yeah, I'm digging this one. Glad I got it finally. So that's those four knives. Do this knife. So this is from my my daughter, another daughter, um, she got this off Etsy. I think the shop is called Barless Blades. And I'll try to put links down below to as many things as I can. But this is a pretty unique knife. Um, it's very cool looking. It's not something I'm going to EDC. Um, you know, with a vertical carry sheath and stuff, but... Definitely part of my collection. And I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, I love it. But it comes in the sheath, which is actually left-handed. A left-handed carry sheath. That's kind of neat. But check this thing out. Now they call this a leaf-shaped, leaf-style knife. It looks to me, it looks like a feather. More to me. Um, but yeah, it's got this flipper tab up here. Open it up. Damascus. Um, I can't remember. I know listing it actually tells you what steels they use for the to make it. Um, I'll do a follow up review on this. But yeah, it's just awesome looking. I think it's so cool and surprisingly comfortable in hand. It's heavy, <laughs> no doubt about it. This is one one chunk of a knife. But it's actually very comfortable, and it's so cool looking now. You kind of hold it like this. The head, it reminds me of Woody Woodpecker. That's what I see. I see Woody Woodpecker, or maybe the Roadrunner, you know. But yeah, that's, that's, that's what I see. But check out the file work on it. This file work up on the blade. Axe is jumping. And it, it's nice. Works good. All along the back. Got brass liners. I think it's I think it's very cool looking. Brass liner lock. Uh, you can see the liners like way over. But this thing can't close up. It's got like this forward finger trail. It's works excellent. It's very comfortable. You got a thumb up here. There's no way this thing's going to close. 
you unlock that, well, I don't know if I can even try it. I mean, there's no way it's going to close up on you. So, definitely cool. Like I said, some barless blades on Etsy. They got all kinds of stuff, kitchen knives. It's all Damascus. Um, I don't know. I don't know anything else about it right now. I'll have to do more research. But pretty unique looking knife. I like it. So that's definitely part of my collection now. So I got those knives out of the way. Um, got the barbecue sauce and jelly and movie. Go to this thing. This is a nice little belt holster sheath thing. Wife got this off Amazon. Very inexpensive. Seems pretty, seems well made. Looks like it's got good stitching. Leather feels nice. It's nice and pliable. But yeah, basically, thread your belt through here, behind it, out there. It's, kind of, it's really low profile. It'll kind of wrap around the curve of your hip. And I've, I haven't carried it yet, but I know my tried my Leatherman Wave that fits. Several of my flashlights fit. I got one pen that actually fits in there good. That's kind of need a short pen. My Rogan Rogan pry little pry tool right here. That actually fits pretty good down in there. So yeah, can't wait to try this out. I think it's going to be cool. Plus it has a little clip. You can hang your keys on there. I usually have a carabiner. I'll show you what I'm using right now. I just clip it to my belt loop. Um, speaking of, I'll show you right now. Now my son gave this to me like a week or so ago. I think he had two of these. If you give me one, I consider it, you know, a Christmas gift. But it's from All Light. Pretty cool carabiner. I just had my truck key on there. Got the carabiner, flathead screwdriver, a couple wrenches, bottle opener, little Phillips head. But yeah, I've been rocking that. Now, you know, you got to undo the snap ring to get it off. But, yeah, I mean, truck key or my key I carry I use at work to snap it on there yeah can't wait to try that out this thing's working out good I like it um so my son gave me that right my wife also got me this the Gerber mullet little keychain pry tool bottle opener Phillips head screwdriver these can be used as screwdrivers. I think that's supposed to be a package opener. Score, you know. Um, you can loop this over the lip of your pocket or loop it on your belt loop to carry it. Yeah, pretty cool little little pry tool, pocket pry tool. You can take this, you know, the snap ring off, just chuck this in your pocket, whatever. Um, another thing she got me. Is the Wallet Ninja. Now, believe it or not, I've seen this before and I've always kind of wanted it. Now I have it. And it's just one of those, you know, wallet multi-tube cards. But, yeah, it's pretty neat, man. Look at all the stuff on there. Eyeglass screwdriver. Got inch ruler. Metric ruler on either side. Centimeters. Um, screwdriver right there. Flathead. Bottle opener, can opener. It's got a, that's pretty good edge right there. Got another little screwdriver, bunch of hex wrenches, another screwdriver, um, box opener, opener, um, nail puller, eyeglass screwdriver. Yeah. Pretty awesome. It fits in my um, recycled firefighter wallet without this, but this actually fits in there. So I'm gonna. That's where I'm gonna. 
I'm going to keep it in there. Now it says cell phone stand, insert card. I haven't figured that out. I assume you put a card in here. And somehow it, the phone is supposed to stand up. I ain't quite figured it out. I might have to find a YouTube video on it. But yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, for some reason I've always kind of wanted this. Now I have it. It was good. Good idea for a little present. Another thing I always kind of wanted, and I've almost gotten several times this little Gerber Curve multi tool. This thing's little, this thing's like two inches long. Um, I don't know. Overall, yeah, it's like two and two and an eighth, two and three sixteenths inches long. Got a little carabiner slash bottle opener. Um, yeah. Screw or little knife blade, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver with file, which yeah, I don't think the file is much much of anything, but got a smaller flathead screwdriver. And everything does lock. Got the lock right here. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. This might go on my um might go on my key ring. It doesn't give you a lot of room. I had it on here once. How did I do it there? Yeah, I might just I might just do that. I'd rock it like that. Now this I bought, but it's red. It was Christmas time. Olay had a sale. This is the I1R2 Pro. The little rechargeable keychain light. Right there. It's USB-C charging port now. A um, little bigger than the original I1R2s. That I have several of. I have on my, my other keychain. But yeah, I like these. This is 180 lumens, nice and bright little light. I, I haven't even charged this stuff up yet. But yeah, that was kind of, these two are kind of presents from myself, from me to me. But yeah, that's cool. And my wife got me this. This is another thing I kind of, I've looked at a thousand times and thought about getting. It's the Gerber... GDC money clip. You can see it's got the money clip on the back. Got G10 on the front here. It's got the little knife. Pretty cool little knife. It's actually sharp. Um, little one finger grip type of thing, but probably use it more like this to cut the tape on boxes or something, packages. And that snaps in there. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. Carry a couple of cards, some cash in there. Nice, not bad looking. I like that green. But, yeah, then you got a small knife blade. So, I think that, that was pretty cool. So, well, you know, without her really knowing anything, she got me couple of things one two three four you know five things that I've looked at before thought about getting and just never never got because it was something else I got and I can't get that off like I said it, this is kind of a big big split ring um, can't get it off but yeah these things are pretty cheap now I think it's going to come in useful yeah, <clears throat> another thing she picked up, I don't know how she thought of this stuff, to tell you the truth. She got me a Spyrco little knife pouch. Now, you know, I have several pouches. Every Civivi I got, you know, comes with a pouch. I got a pouch of each one of these. I don't have a Spyrco branded pouch. And this, this is pretty nice. It's really thick padded. 
Yeah, I got a couple of Kaiser pouches also. Um, I don't know, but yeah, I don't have a spider coal one. I got a few spider coals. In fact, just to show you, because I was cutting down boxes last night, and today I carried my paramilitary two. This is one of my favorite knives, you know, S30V steel, compression lock. Now this has my Carta scales from Sharp Dress Knives. Um, backspacer that a friend of mine made, 3D printed. I've, I've shown this before. A lynch clip. Yeah. Definitely one of my favorite knives. So, paramilitary too. Fits in there excellent. And, yeah. So, I don't store my knives in these pouches, but. If I want to take several, you know, a couple of knives with me, I'll put them in the pouch, put them in my backpack, take them so they don't get messed up. And let's do this. My son got me this Rogan um, pry bar. This is the Foreman Mini. I just did a review on his full-size tradesman. And I said I wanted the Foreman because it, the foreman has the side bevel. The tradesman is just the bar. And then the end has got the chisel grind on it. He uses his. He beats the heck out of it at work, he says. But yeah, this is the mini. And I love the size of this thing. It's like six inches, six and a half inches long. The full size is, yes, yeah, a little less than six and a half. Full size is eight eight inches, one inch wide, uh, three sixteenths thick. This is a full quarter inch thick. Got me the orange paracord wrap. I like that. But yeah, can't wait to put this to some good use. So that's the Rogan bar. Get that pack out of the way. There's Rogan's information, website, Facebook, Instagram, made in the USA. And the back shows that's actually the tradesman that he's got. You can dig, split, pry, hammer with it. Yeah, very cool. Can't wait. <clears throat> and then my youngest daughter bought me this flashlight. This is a Wubin. C3. I saw a video on the Wubin. I don't know if it was a it was cut, cutlery lover or um, we all juggle knives or someone else. They did a video on, I don't know if it was this one, but a Wubin flashlight. Well, she got me this 1200 lumens, Type C, rechargeable, low power warning. And it's a pretty, pretty nice light. Comes with a charging cable, a lanyard, a couple extra O-rings. I even got the instructions. I don't know the specs other than the 1200 lumens. Very simple um, interface. It's got a moonlight mode. And, all it has is a tail switch, you, you half press, go through the motions, so you got moonlight mode, I'm guessing about 5 lumens or a little less, like I said, I, I haven't looked at the specs, oh, right here is the specs, um, 1200, then it steps down to 500, medium is 400, low is 80, Eco is 5, that's why I was calling Moonlight. It's got strobe and SOS. Um, I haven't found that out yet. Um, well, I got it on SOS. I don't know how I did it. That's cool. Um, Well, anyways, I'll figure this thing out, use it. I'll do a review on this. Um, 
I know this thing was like right around 20, 22 bucks, close to it, maybe 24. But yeah, 179 meters. So pretty awesome looking light. Check it out. There's a USB C charging pocket clip, removable pocket clip. Got battery. Um, if it's low, it'll flash, it'll blink green, charge it, it's red, when it's fully charged, it's solid green. See? So, yeah, pretty cool. Can't wait to test this thing out. I think it's, I think for the price, this thing's awesome. 1200 lumens. It's not huge. Nice. So... That's that. I think that's everything I got um, for Christmas. So definitely watch out for review videos. I'll definitely review the knives. I got other knives I have to review. Um, this thing, I'll try that out, see how it works. These things, probably, eh, I might. I'll definitely... Definitely have, I got some reviews coming, so be on the lookout. There's a lot of stuff coming. I know past couple weeks, I haven't done that many videos, but a lot's been going on this time of year. A lot of overtime, a lot of family stuff. So yeah, that's it. Um, as usual, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said before, Hope everyone had an awesome Christmas today and happy new year. Um, yeah, guess that's it. Till the next video, bye.